Welcome to Tech Stories, a poor man's lazy game reviews of interesting tech set to overly dramatic music. The music tonight was kindly written by Hans Zimmer for the motion picture titled Interstellar. Episode 2, Virtual Reality, Past, Present and Future. Throughout history, humankind has sought to trap reality for posterity, entertainment and escapism. To explain this, let us travel far further back in time than we actually need to. 17,000 years ago in France. One of our distant ancestors, possibly named Tuk Tuk, started painting wildlife scenes upon the cave walls. When viewed via the state-of-the-art technology known as fire, these scenes would come to life, immersing Tuk Tuk in what you could argue is a kind of virtual reality. But let us move forward 17,000 years. Past, ancient Egypt, China, Greece, the Romans, medieval Europe, to what is regarded as the first camera to capture what we perceive as reality. By the 1890s, we'd worked out how to reduce the exposure time to be able to capture live motion. This is the round hay garden scene shot in Leeds. Shortly after, William Dixon, partnering with Mr. Edison, produced the first moving picture with sound. Simply put, this level of immersion is what became the standard for the next 100 years. But while the standard of having audio and visual was to remain, the delivery method was to change, sending this information over the airways into your home at the flip of a switch. Then came the beginning of everything that we know today, the digital age, with the first programmable computer in 1943, the microchip in 1959, all of this could fit in our pockets. HD screens, gyroscopic sensors, 3D worlds, a connection to all information and to anyone. Then a spark, a catalyst, a singularity 35,000 years in the making to lead us to here. Take a moment to contemplate that these beautiful devices are the worst VR headsets of the current generation. This is our starting point. This is what we work forward from. Picture back to your first television, computer, laptop, phone. And this is where we are with the virtual reality headsets of today. The tsunami of innovation is high cresting above our shores. How far can the symbiotic human interface go? Controlling computers with our minds is at least possible. If that's around the corner for us, then we're not going to know what hits us. Just look at the buzz it's created. This is absolutely amazing. It's breathtaking. That was awesome. It's, it's awesome. Oh, it's beautiful. It's amazing. I'm more excited about these than anything that's come before. Is this a gimmick or is this really going to make a difference? This is our window to a world with unlimited resources. Relentless excitement topped with some violence. A world where we control the laws of physics and what is possible. Where we can experience our dreams as if they were lucid. To experience the limits of what is even dreamed to be possible or just for that moment where you feel alive. I have been stabbed, shot, poisoned, frozen, hung, electrocuted, and burned. Oh, really? I'm a god. Like magic! Mm -hmm. Oh, it's beautiful! Oh, th all right, well, thanks for trying it out, Seto. Oh, this is wonderful.